वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिसकस द हीटिंग एंड कूलिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक टैप्स वी ऑल नो डेट वेन ए मोटर रनस भेरियास लॉसेस ओकर इन साइड द मेसिन सासेस कपार लॉस इन द वाइंडिंग्स सासेस आर्मेसर और फील्ड वाइंडिंग कोर लॉसेस इन द मेगनेटिक मेटेरियल्स एंड फ्रिक्शन लॉसेस इन द मूविंग पार्ट ऑफ द मेसिन ओके This losses with will lead to heating of the machine. Okay, a part of the produce heat will flow out to the surrounding. As the heat produces increases due to these losses, the rate of outflow also increases. Okay, at one point the rate of heat produced will be exactly equal to the rate of heat dissipated. At this point, it, the steady state temperature is attained. That is after. Reaching the point where rate of the heat produced will be equal to rate of heat dissipation, no temperature rise will occur, and the machine will reach a steady state temperature. Now, we all know that uh, in a machine uh, there are various insulations are used in windings and all. Uh, and now this temperature may this temperature rise may damage those insulation in the windings. If the insulation damages, then it can lead to short circuit. Okay. Therefore, an engineer should carefully choose the motor rating for specific application, keeping in mind the steady this temperature rise, so that this temperature rise does not exceed the permissible value of temperature for the insulation. Okay. There are various types of insulations. Class of insulations are used in a motor depending upon the motor rating. Now we will let us see the thermal model of the motor. Even though a machine is made up of several material, different materials are used for different part of the machine. Okay, we will assume a homogeneous body for the simplification of our for the simplification. Okay, let us see these parameters. Okay, now P one is the heat developed in the machine. Its unit will be joule per second. Now P two. Is the heat dissipated to the cooling medium, such as oil or water or air? Anything can be the cooling medium, and P two denote the heat dissipated to that cooling medium in joule per second. W is the weight of the active part of the machine. H is the specific heat in joule per kilogram per degree centigrade. It represents that how much energy in joule is required to increase the Temperature by one degree of an one kilogram material of the machine. Okay, it is a property of the material. It is the property of the material. Now, similarly, D is also a property of the material. Suppose um, uh, we have a cooling medium around the around the machine. Okay, now this D represents a uh, specific heat dissipation constant. It is also known as the emissivity constant. Uh, it rep uh, it represents Uh, the heat dissipated. Suppose okay, I will explain it further. Suppose we have an area of one meter square of the material. Okay, now yeah, if we if one degree centigrade rise in the temperature of this area, now in that one degree rise in temperature, how much heat is dissipated per second is known as this. Dissipation constant. Okay, its unit is therefore joule per second per meter square per degree centigrade. Now, A is the area of the cooling surface, and theta is the mean temperature rise. That is, the machine attain a temperature theta after a certain time t. Okay. Suppose during a small, very small time interval d t, there is a temperature rise d theta. In the mean temperature theta due to losses inside the machine. Okay, now the, uh, from the heat developed inside the machine, some of the heat will be dissipated into the cooling medium, and the remaining heat will be stored in the machine. Now, if we see the heat developed in the small time dt will be p one dt. Because P one is the heat developed in joule per second. Okay. Similarly, the heat dissipated will be P two dt. 
now if we see heat stored in the machine will be the uh, effective weight of the machine is w and h is the specific heat for small temperaturized d theta this is the heat stored in the machine if you see the unit of h is joule per kilogram per degree centigrade if we multiply it by the weight we will get joule per degree centigrade and in d theta degree that uh, increase okay the heat stored in the machine will be therefore w h d theta i hope this is clear now this p2 is the heat dissipated by an area a when the temperature is theta okay therefore we can write p2 as theta into the dissipation constant d into the cooling surface area a okay so we can simplify this as w is d theta equal to p1 dt minus p2 will be theta t a dt okay now we have to solve this equation now if we transfer this dt into here we will get the um, guys d theta by dt equal to minus d a carefully observe how i am solving this differential equation because it can be asked in exam now this is theta so what i will do i will transfer the transfer this whole term here theta into d into a and dt will go there now for solving this equation we have to integrate it okay w h these are constant so it will come out of the integral now d theta p1 minus theta d into a now if we integrate it it will give that time after which the temperature will be theta okay now if we solve this we will get this will be log of okay ln this is ln okay, the base is e okay p1 minus theta d a minus of log k where k is the integration constant now as we, we are we are having minus d as the coefficient of theta so this d a will come here okay now this will be t we will simplify further it as p1 minus theta d a by k is equal to minus of t into d a by omega s okay now uh, the base is e so you can simplify it further as p1 theta da da by omega s i hope up to this everything is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section okay now we have to find this integration constant k we do not know this so let us suppose at t equal to zero that is initially the temperature rise of the machine was theta naught okay now if we substitute this value here we will get that p1 minus theta naught d times a divided by k will be one okay e to the power zero is one so the value of k comes out to be p1 minus theta naught da now if we substitute this value of k here we will get that p1 
माइनस थीटा डी ए डिवाइडेड बाय द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज पी वन दिस पी वन माइनस थीटा नोट डी ए विल बी इक्वल टू ई टू डी पावर माइनस थी टाइम्स डी ए बाय ओमेगा एच ओके नो विल सोल्व दिस इक्वेशन पी वन माइनस थीटा डी ए विल बी इक्वल टू पी वन माइनस थीटा नोट ऑब्जर्व द स्टेप्स आई एम डूइंग no we will transfer all the uh, theta all the, all that okay all the theta to one side no that will be theta da okay now p1 this p1 minus this p1 into e to the power minus t t by omega h and this minus will be plus theta not d a e to the power minus t d a by omega h okay now we will divide both side by d into a therefore theta is we can take p1 as common okay p1 by d into a 1 minus e to the power minus t into d a by omega h okay plus theta not d a d a will be cancelled e to the power minus t d a by omega h if we carefully observe if we put t is equal to infinity that is at steady state the value of theta comes out to be p1 by d a okay this value will be zero at t equal to infinity this value will also be zero therefore theta will be uh, theta at steady state will be come out come out to be as p1 by d a we call that as theta s s okay therefore we can write theta will be equal to theta s s into 1 minus e to the power minus t okay we can also write this term as tau okay the tau is the thermal heating constant tau is thermal heating constant okay so that tau will be equal to reciprocal of this w h by d a you have to remember this because in question all this value will be given and you have to find the thermal heating constant so we can write this as t by tau plus theta naught e to the power minus t by tau okay the theta naught is the initial temperature rise of the machine and theta s is the final temperature rise of the machine so we have to remember this equation so uh, that i have called this as omega but actually this is w this w weight of the taper okay sorry for that if the initial temperature rise of the machine is zero that is if theta naught is zero then we can also write theta as theta ss into one minus e to the power minus t by tau generally this is the case but in some question there can be they, they also can give the uh, initial rise of uh, initial temperature rise so you have to remember this formula and we will solve a problem related to this uh, formula in my next video for cooling also we will get an exactly similar expression only this tau will be changed by tau dash okay now that tau dash will be cooling constant okay thermal cooling cw cooling constant which will be w h now this d will be changed by d dash it will be given in the equation and then you have to find the cooling constant okay now the expression will remain same theta s s will be the final temperature of the cooling and theta naught will be the initial temperature when the cooling process start okay in my next video i will solve some example related to the concept of heating and cooling of drive then everything will be clear and that's it for today hope you have liked the video do share it among your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you